Hello everyone, in this video we are just going to study in detail about the register structures practically available in ARM Cortex M based processor and also we are just going to study how a counting operation is performed with the registers available in ARM Cortex M processor internally. Let's get started. So now for understanding the register structure, we have already studied in detail about the registers available in ARM Cortex M processor. I hope you remember that lecture where we studied in detail about the register structure available in ARM Cortex M based processor. That is, we are having registers between R0 to R15. Totally, we are having 16 registers out of which R0 to R12 are general purpose registers useful for several logical and arithmetic operations that needs to be performed inside the processor and the rest out R13, 14, 15 are special function registers that is stack pointer, program counter and program status register and about these three registers we are just going to study in detail in this lecture we are just going to perform some arithmetic operation and we are going to study how these special function registers are performing and now for understanding the basic principles of registers and how they are functioning inside the microprocessor we are just going to write down a simple program i'm just going to declare one variable of name variable one and I'm going to assign the value 0 to it and then I'm just going to add 1 to the variable 1 and I'm going to store the result in the same variable 1 that is variable 1 is equal to variable 1 plus 1 and I'm going to do this operation several times. So let this be my program now I'm just going to compile this program and in between each of the increment operation I am just going to print the variable 1 value in my debug serial viewer window in the keel microvision ID. So I am just going to perform these after every increment operation. I am just going to provide the enter at the end for moving to the next line. So here the value will be becoming 1 and it will be printed in the serial monitor window, serial debug viewer window as 1 and then here it will be becoming 2 and it will be printed onto the serial monitor and it goes on like this till the last statement i am just compiling this program you can see the compilation is successful with zero errors and zero warnings now i am just entering into the debug session of the keel microvision id by clicking on the start or stop debug session icon right over here you can see the keel microvision id has changed its perspective from programming to debug view. So this is the debug viewer window and I am just going to place the breakpoint right over here in the first line. That is where I have that is where I have declared the variable declared and defined the variable of variable 1 and I have assigned the value 0 to that variable. Now I am just running this program by clicking on the run icon right over here. You can see the program has reached the first line. That is it has reached the breakpoint and it is yet to execute and declare and define this variable. So this is the C program that we have written and you can see on the top there is a window called disassembly. So this disassembly window is nothing but the equivalent assembly code instructions for the C program that you have written. 
so this is our c program that i have written right over here and for that c program will be further converted into assembly code right so that assembly code is written right over here in this disassembly window and in this disassembly window also you can see the breakpoint has been placed so this is that line where i have placed the breakpoint that is int of variable 1 is equal to 0 is the line where i have placed the breakpoint so the line that is equivalent to this line in the assembly window is this line that is move s yes of r4 comma 0x00 that means it is telling that move the value 0 to the r4 register and in this register tab right over here in the left you can see all the 16 registers that is r0 to r15 and also we are having additional program status register so these r0 to r12 are particular register as i mentioned they are general purpose register which are useful for arithmetic or logical operations that are yet to be performed in the processor and r13 is stack pointer that is sp r14 is linker register and r15 is program counter and you can see as per the first instruction shown right over here move s yes, r4 comma 0 that means this r4 register is going to be loaded with the value 0x00 so that is the first statement let me move to the next line so first statement has been executed and r4 has been loaded with 0x00 and when i execute the next statement that is variable 1 is equal to variable 1 plus 1 that is nothing but add s yes, r4 comma r4 comma 1 that is r4 will be added with r4 plus 1 so that is the meaning of this instruction r4 will be loaded with the value r4 plus 1 so that is the meaning for this instruction add s yes. and when we execute this as per the instruction r4 plus 1 that is r4 value plus 1 will be loaded in the register r4 again so the r4 will be loaded with the value 1 in our case so let me just execute this line you can see the r4 has been loaded with 0x 0 0000001 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, that is nothing but 1 in decimal so now when i execute the next line that is printf of variable 1 is equal to percentage d backslash n comma variable 1 will be printing me the variable 1 value that is 1 on the debug viewer window so let me just execute that you can see in the debug viewer window variable 1 is equal to 1 has been printed now when i move to the next line again i am having the statement variable 1 is equal to variable 1 plus 1 so again the instruction add s yes of r4 comma r4 comma 1 is available in the disassembly window which means r4 plus 1 will be loaded to the r4 register so r4 is already having the value 1 initially now and when i add 1 to it it will become 2 so the value 2 will be loaded to the r4 as per the instruction available right over here so when i execute this line you can see the r4 becomes 2 now and again when i execute this line the variable 1 value will be 2 will be printed in the debug viewer window you can see variable 1 is equal to 2 has been printed in the debug viewer window and i'm moving to the next statement that is variable 1 is equal to variable 1 plus 1 so again now the add s yes of r4 comma r4 comma 1 that is r4 plus 1 will be stored in the variable or register r4 again so r4 is holding the value 2 now initially so 2 plus 1 3 will be loaded to the r4 after executing this line you can see the r4 value has become 3 
again when I execute this print of the variable 1 is equal to 3 will be printed. Again, when I move to the next line and execute this line, you can see the R4 becomes 4 and the variable 1 is equal to 4 will be printed. And again, when I execute the next line, you can see variable 1 becomes 5. So, R4 will be loaded with value 5. And when I execute the next line, that is print of the variable 1 is equal to 5 will be printed in the debug viewer. And now when I execute this line variable 1 is equal to variable 1 plus 1 again the R4 becomes 6 that is value available in R4 becomes 6 again and when I execute the next line the print of the variable 1 is equal to 6 will be printed and again when I execute the next statement that is add us of R4 comma R4 again the R4 will be loaded with the value 7 because we are adding 1 to it to the current value of R4. And now when I execute the next print of the variable 1 is equal to 7 will be printed in the debug viewer window. And when I move to the next line the program will be exited. That's all about the program available. And this is how an arithmetic operation or counting operation is performed using registers available in ARM Cortex-M processor. So, to study in detail about this program counter register right over here, let me just show you with an example how this program counter works. So this program counter right over here that is the register R15 or R15 is a special register which will be holding the memory address of next instruction to be executed. So let me just place a breakpoint right over here the first line and second line for understanding this program counter. I am resetting the program and I am running the program with the run icon right over here. You can see the program has reached the first breakpoint that is the first line and in the disassembly window you can see the first instruction of the program is nothing but this int of variable 1 is equal to 0. So this instruction is nothing but move s yes, r4 comma 0 which is helpful for moving the value 0 to the r4 register that is general purpose register which is most widely useful for arithmetic and logical operation. So this is the first instruction move s yes, r4 comma 0x00. So this instruction is available in 0x080010EA. So this address 0x080010EA is nothing but a particular address in flash memory or program memory. So this instruction is available in flash memory of 0x080010EA. So this is the instruction that is yet to be executed because breakpoint has stopped the program execution. So this is the next instruction that is yet to be executed. So the program counter will be loaded with this memory address of the instruction which is yet to be executed. So you can see in the program counter the address available is 0x080010EA. And regarding the next instruction after this int variable 1 is equal to 0 is the instruction variable 1 is equal to variable 1 plus 1. So this instruction is nothing but add yes of r4 comma r4 comma 1 that is r4 plus 1 will be loaded to the r4 register is the meaning of this instruction. So this instruction is available in the flash memory of 0x080010EC. So let us check whether this address is loaded in the program counter as per our understanding. So after executing the first instruction right over here that is int of variable 1 is equal to 0 or move s yes of r4 comma 0x00 this instruction is yet to be executed and memory address or flash address of this instruction that is 0x080010ec will be loaded to the program counter. Since the program counter is a special function register which will be holding the 
address of next instruction which is yet to be executed so let me just run the program to the next line you can see the memory address has been shifted to 0x08 0010 ec and again when i move to the next line you can see i am moving to the next line the value will become 0800010 ee in program counter and again when i move it will become f0 that is 0800010 f0 that is the next line and again when i move it will become this address that is f2 you can see f2 and again when i move it will become f6 and again when i move it will become f8 again when i move it will become f a again when i move it will become f c and again when i move it will become double one double zero that is zero x zero eight double zero double one double zero again when i move it will become double one zero two again when i move it will become double one zero four again when i move it will become double one zero six so i hope you learned how computers or cpu of arm cortex m counts and number using the register structure available in it and also the basic functionalities of general purpose registers available in arm cortex m based processors from r0 to r12 in this video and also we are just going to study in detail about the special function registers that is this stack pointer linker program counter and program status registers separately in future videos that's it for this video see you in the next video thanks for watching